Yeah, this is uh, here at the carriage house. This is why we like to put things on little carts when we can. See if we can get this uh, planer. DeWalt is 80 pounds. So hold your breath while I'm filming. I can just walk it around on this little ramp. Left-handed even. Let's pull it back up to the shop. Roll it outside to make all the sawdust outside. And then we can just put it back into a little dedicated spot in the shop. Right about there. And instead of lugging 80 pounds around, use the magic of uh, castered wheels to get that moved around, just like we have on our finishing dolly, the work dolly that we primarily use for sunfish to throw them on. And uh, Zip's currently on there right now. We'll show a quick picture of the shop to, uh, to taunt Doug. Uh, we did vacuum, cleaned up sawdust. But just, uh, just for Doug's sake, we left a little pile of sawdust out here thinking maybe the squirrels or the birds would grab some of it and use it for, to make a nest. So we've been working on uh, 1953 Alcourt Sunfish uh, Zip today, repairing damage this caused by me not tying it up properly. So we're working on making this little letter box repair that's going to go inside the uh, hole. We'll have a, a backer plate that goes inside the hole. Probably pull it up with four screws on each corner. Put some thickened epoxy on it. Get that in place. And once that's in place, we can take this little chunk here that we've been shaping uh, today and drop that in probably put a piece of polyfilm over the top of it you know, some backer plate epoxy a little repair piece piece of uh, poly over the top and then maybe some weights on it to kind of hold it down ho hoping that when we're done it this little piece will be just a little bit proud of the deck around it and then come and sand it all uh, flush this uh, fur plywood, it's uh, people always talk about how it checks and it gets fuzzy. Well, this this has done that over the past uh, seven years since we repaired it. You can see some some fuzziness there. So we're gonna sand that down and get it smooth. You know, we'll still have grain in it, and then uh, you'll still still be paint. Just gonna take the, the scratchy stuff off the top. And then put another a couple coats of paint on it. So we figured out earlier today we've got to put this patch in first underneath because it won't won't fit through that hole. So we we'll get it that there, and then when it's in place from inside the hole, it's gonna it's gonna look like that. And then we can come around and do the similar thing. We still have to trim this piece to for this slot here this letter box and this will be the backer plate and it can go inside and then be pulled up we'll probably drill a couple of holes for a couple of strings so we can pull it up and then screws on each corner hold it in stick into epoxy once it dries take the screws out and fill those holes and put this shaped piece over the top of that same thing, a little piece of uh, poly sheeting so that whatever we put on top of that doesn't stick to the hole and then some weights or something to hold that down while that dries. So we're uh, be ready to work on that a little more tomorrow. So we hope uh, y'all are staying social and staying distant and doing what you need to do. And we uh, appreciate y'all watching. So y'all have a great evening.